Hello, everybody. My name is Jake, and welcome to a little bit of Let's Play Destiny. So, I am going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial for Monte Carlo. And I, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, so, here we go. Here's a few of the uh, stats for it. We got uh, CQB Ballistics. We got Smart Drift Control. Aggressive Ballistics. And hip fire, a little bit of upgrade damage, high caliber rounds, send it, field scout, and the Monte Carlo method, and then just the rest is all upgrade damage. Now I'm not gonna sit here and read them all out loud. After a while, y'all just gonna be like, "Wow, this is this dude is just gonna sit here and talk about." Well stats nah no fun in that anyway so like I said this is gonna be a little bit of gameplay for Monte Carlo and I'm just gonna ramble on just for no fucking reason so is it just me or like whenever you just start like a new character or anything like that at the very beginning of the video where you see three people on the moon does anybody else think that that might be the vanguards themselves because I, I, I've noticed that, you know, since there's only three, like a warlock, a hunter, and a titan, and there was only three in the room. No. Yeah, that, that might have been them. Flash. Yeah. Who knows? Bravo team. Might have been the vanguard. Engage and la, la, execute la, 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 all la, la, targets. La, la, la. Like I said, I'm going to ramble like nothing. I have to look at the that. You're in the lead. Here we go. Oh, I'm Oh. You're falling behind. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to straight be honest. I'm not pro at this. I just love having fun. And besides, it also gives me enough experience to do whatever the hell I want. And that's how fast it shoots. You get 36 rounds in the chamber, and get I mean, bullets you can carry for the thing. Sorry, dude, I stole your kill. Not a very cool thing right now. Oh, look at there. Got my own kill. Oh shit. Oh shit. I know that what the. Oh, oh, bitch. Oh well. Heaven did it just fine. Anyway, so if anyone doesn't know, know by now on how to get exotic bounties, uh, all you really gotta do is do regular bounties within a certain time period. If I'm not mistaken, so it'll go by like nothing. Oh, I didn't see you there. But yeah, after like a certain amount of bounties, and I give about like three, maybe four days, uh, you'll, you'll get an exotic bounty. But um, I also recommend that if you already have an exotic bounty, just do regular ones during the meantime, and then as soon as you're done with one, you'll get another one. Oh hey, look, I got that one. Huh. Anyway, so. I have had an interesting week, not a whole lot, but I mean, an interesting week. I finally got the, I had pre-ordered a fashion free bad just going out, and oh my god, earlier it was just bugging the hell Gains out of me. The lead. <sighs> There's like this mission where, uh, I, if, it, for those who have played Assassin's Creed, everyone knows, or at least I hope you know, who, um, Lost the lead. Shit, I forgot his name. Heavy ammo nope, in No, nope, Ezio. Ezio Auditore. And, uh, yeah. It has a really good feeling with that. And, it, You're and in the I'll lead. be doing a uh, gameplay for available. that later. Just right now, I I was doing one of the missions and it bugged the shit out of me. So I don't You're plan falling behind. Right now. Oh, my God. 
So earlier I was I had finally gotten I had finally found a team Aww. You know me. Anyway, I finally found a team on here and it, it was good, especially whenever we had finally got ourselves going because like, like one of them had just started playing and uh, me and the other guys, they were, we were helping them level up and whatnot and uh, they were pretty decent for someone that's never played the game before. So I was like, oh, okay, that's, you know, we're, we're a badass team. We, we got like, a, we had like a five win streak for, uh, for control and that that really made everything. That, that was the most boss time I ever had for for the season. What I find even, even funnier is that if you ever go to GameStop and you meet someone who doesn't know what PvP is, then obviously the for lead. someone that works at GameStop, you just really should be working at GameStop. You can't understand the abbreviation. You know what? That seems really mean for me to be saying that. You know what? Never mind. Just they need to catch up on that abbreviation. Yeah, I know. My love to be talking in the background. So if I'm talking about some random person, it's not a random person. It's, it's, it's just that strange lady in the background you keep hearing. You know what? This dude wasn't nice. How do people aim in the air and continue shooting and not freaking miss? That always gets me. Because I always die like that. Not like I always, always have a constant wave, but I mean, man. It happens. What? Okay. Oh, like I said, I'm not really good at PvP. I, I, I do my best. I really do. Not everyone's made for PvP. And yes, I am talking about that that one nerd guy that keeps getting jumped and that nobody that just can't stop everyone. Where is he? There he is. Really? I do a melee and screw you. Just just no. <laughs> oh, hello. Heavy ammo on the way. You were, you just came out of nowhere now, didn't you? A little bit of food. Heavy a ammo available. To the face. You know what, you should be still burning. It's a fire damage, I lit you on fire. But then again, arc damage doesn't make me have a go OCD out here. Obsessive compulsive disorder. You know where you're basically in there having a stroke. It's not really a stroke, maybe, for someone with OCD. I'm not trying to make fun of people with OCD. Don't, don't get me wrong. Just, just. You're getting shocked to death. Come on now. Freaking Blade Dancer, I swear. Drop him like a nuke and knife everybody. One hit kill, but whenever I do a melee, it's part of the See? One hit kill. One hit kill. What, what was I just talking about? Five minutes remaining. Fucking boy dancer, I tell you. Always get you. So I have actually gotten this gun once in Monte Carlo during the raid. I shit you not. There was a. Um, I I was just following uh, everyone else because I I. I've barely done the raid. I've barely completed the raid. And I finally completed the raid. I think it was the last night. Yeah, it was last night. And I was like so freaking excited. And not only did I just get a, uh, a raid done, but I also had gotten Monte Carlo. So, and the raid gun is actually the shotgun that I'm using right now. I'm not actually like using it in hand because this is the Monte Carlo. Uh, walk through, not really walk through, more like just, just, just like a little play to see how, how it is. Huh? Demonstration. There we go. It's a demonstration. It's a sexy demonstration. Is not surrender, you should like look at this guy. At, like, after you know the British guy tells me, you know, you suck ass. Uh.
Come on now. Waits for so long. Almost got hip fire on that thing. Is that a game thing? No, but I did get third. I, I got third place. And of course, as someone with third place gets shit. They really need to fix that. Fucking Bungie. Everyone loves Bungie. I don't even know why. I, I actually think it's just the name. Anyway, so this is the raid shotgun I got. Anyway, found verdict. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Damn it.